Hey everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube fishing video. But first I'd like to wish a happy birthday to my nephew Braden Inahara. Uh, he lives over there on the other islands in Hawaii. He's always been kind of interested in this whole YouTube thing, so I figured this would kind of fit. Now I've actually done one of these videos before, but utilizing GoPro Studio. GoPro Studio is basically GoPro's free app that you can download from their website and allows you to do some basic general video editing. In the beginning, it was totally fine for what I was looking to do because I actually used it for my first 400 videos. The problem with it though is one, it was very buggy and it caused a lot of problems and wasted a ton of time. And two, if you wanted to do a little bit more advanced editing, it just wasn't possible. So I started looking for another software package. Uh, I know Adobe uh, Premiere Pro is kind of like the, the number one software that most people utilize. But for me, I just do basic videos without a lot of fluff to them. So I didn't really feel it was necessary. However, Adobe has a, a package called the Premiere Elements, which is the stripped down version of Premiere Pro. So they take like the the 75-80% of what everybody uses Premiere Pro for and just puts it in a scaled down version and sells it at a discounted price. So I ended up getting that. I ended up paying $90, which was a package where you got the Premiere elements for video and then you got Photoshop elements for pictures and uh, stills. So I'm gonna show you how to make a basic YouTube fishing video using Premiere Elements. And hopefully you'll see that how easy it is to do and maybe get some people that were kind of hesitant about it before to feel comfortable that they can do it as well. But the first thing we need to do is get some footage. So let's go fishing. Okay, we're back. Uh, we've got our GoPro with the SD card. So the first thing we're gonna do is download all of our video clips onto our computer. Okay, we've opened up uh, Premiere Elements. When you first start, you have these four options of the level that you want to start with. They have it very easy where they basically walk you through everything. This one just kind of highlights the basics and then it'll help you if you need it. And I'm just kind of using the expert version because I kind of know what I need to do. So we'll switch over to that. First thing we're gonna do is import our media to the software program. So we just go to add media and then look at our files of folders. Go to the folder that we need. And then I'm gonna select the GoPro videos that we took today. And I'm gonna open those. And it's adding the media files to the program. So this might just take a second. Once the add media function is complete, it'll show up in your project assets. So these are the videos that are loaded up and ready to use. So I'm gonna highlight all of those and I'm gonna bring those down to our timeline. And we're just gonna drop them there. And what it's doing in the meantime, as you see on the bottom right here, it's basically converting it to a usable format for this program. What you can see it's doing, as you can see it's kind of loading down here, is that it's correcting the video as well as adding the audio files to our program. So as you wait, you'll see all of this basically fills in with both the uh, video and the audio. Okay, so now our timeline has been filled in with the uh, video and the, the separated audio. Now the first step we're gonna go through is to start chopping up the videos or chopping up the clips to just what we want on the video. So you could just hit play, and then for example, we found this is the spot that we want it to be at. What you do, there's a little pair of scissors here. You click on that, and then what that does is it separates it into two different files, okay? And it allows you to work with each, whichever you highlight. So let's say we know we want it to start there, and going forward is good and anything before that is bad. We can highlight that section. I'm going to right click our mouse and it's going to give us a bunch of options and we're just going to delete and we could either just delete and what it does is it just holds that place in line there. Just like for example, we'll cut off this this end here. Hopefully I don't need it. Doesn't look like it. So we'll do the same. Cut it 
click on it, right click, and we'll delete. Okay, so it leaves a little gap there. Wherever you delete that section, it just leaves it. Or you could do is when you back this up. Let me get rid of this gap. Okay, let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to choose. We separated it, highlight it, and we're going to delete and close gap. And it automatically moves everything over so there's no gap between the two. So that's all we're going to do now is we're going to go through all these five or six clips and we're just going to cut out the stuff we don't. So the only thing that we have left is just the video basically. So I'm going to go through and do that now. Okay, I finished cutting it all down, got rid of all the extras. So we just basically, we just have our video completely pretty much done here. So it flows all right. Now we could do some editing, uh, special effects and so forth. So to do that, you go over to this one here. And these are just all the adjustments that you can make um, to your individual clips. So as soon as you have one highlighted there, these are the options that you can do. Some of the basics that I use are like the color, color RGB for adjusting the different colors, lighting, contrast, um, exposure all done here and then you could work with the volume increase and lower the levels and I play with the bass a bit or I used to when I had the other mic because it came overly bass because of the uh, GoPro dive housing and then you have audio gain which is a helpful in what it does is that it allows you to do a normalize and what that normalize does is it basically takes a look at all your clips and then kind of gives an average and then any one that you you choose to uh, correct you hit that normalize and it'll increase or decrease the volume to match your other clips so that's helpful as well uh, one of the mine are pretty good I'm not going to worry about changing color or lightning or lighting or anything like that however I do have over here a clip which is of uh, throwing the cast net so you can see here okay now one of the things I want to do with that one is I actually want to do a slow-mo on that and I'll show you there and we actually get out of adjustments and we come over here to tools and you can do a bunch of different things and we're going to do time remapping which is basically you're speeding up or reducing your uh, frame rates so right now I'm going to grab and move this to cover all these frames Okay and then I want to choose how right now it's just 1x or the regular speed and I want to go to extremely slow so I'm just going to check mark that or what you can do is like going from normal to extremely slow uh, created changed it to 11.7 seconds from 1.5 seconds to 11.7 seconds that whole spread of clips so if you want it even slower than that you can just highlight this and change it to 20 seconds 50 seconds whatever you want it to be but that's fine there done and it's telling you that it's going to throw off the volume um, I'm going to go ahead and just delete the volume anyways so it's not confusing and then we have our final slow-mo there that's good then I'm actually going to do the same thing to this one because I'm going to mix them and we do time remapping Let's choose our clips our frames change our speed okay and blah 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 I think we're good that's all I'm going to do now there's but like I said there's a ton of stuff that you can do but I'm just doing a quick easy basic video so the only one other thing I want to do is I'm going to add some music to this because this is a non talkity talk video so I'm going to fill it in with some video or some audio some music so I'm going to do that next okay for music uh, one of the easiest things to do is just go to the YouTube go to your creator studios and then under create there's the audio library and under the audio library they've got tons of, video, of audio uh, songs to choose from 
and plus it makes it easier because then you don't have to worry about copyright issues since they basically filter everything for you. Um, you can go to other websites and get uh, music as well, but you just have to remember there's just no guarantee with those because you don't know if they're thoroughly filtering out the ones that are truly copyrighted or not. But all you can do is you can go through and you can change all these tabs here to kind of filter things. I know I was looking for something in about 2 minute 20 second range. This one fits the bill here. Um, so I am going to go ahead and download that one. And that's downloaded there. The other site that I also use is Incompetech. They basically have the same uh, uh, system there. So we have downloaded go back to our Premier Elements and then we're going to add the Pink Lemonade is the name of the song. Okay, so that's there. So we're going to drag and drop that on our timeline. As you can see it almost matches up perfectly there. So what I'm going to do is just go all the way to the end and lop off that whatever is one second that's right there and then one good thing you can use is this slider here will kind of make things easier to see because it uh, widens everything so I want to highlight the song music part I'm going to chop it and then I'm going to delete that section and boom we are done yeah, let's take a look and there it is there's all of our clips is this is the existing audio that's in those clips but I can go ahead and delete them because uh, I'm really not doing any talking in this video so the rest of it is just background noise so I can click on it right click and then delete the audio and this way it'll be just cleaner with just the music and then the video to go with it. And last one. Okay, so there we go. We got our video with our audio uh, music background. We're all good. So we want to export this and we're going to choose a 1080 by a 1920 which is just general HD we are going to call this one by the date and I've got the folder already my finals folder and hit save and this is basically going to render the the clip from the Premiere Elements format to an mp4 format which is something that YouTube can recognize so once it's finished here and switched to an mp4 format then we can upload it to YouTube so now we've got some time to waste so we're just gonna let that do its thing okay once the rendering is done in Premiere Elements we can go ahead and upload the uh, mp4 format now to YouTube so when you go to your page you'll have this little arrow, arrow that says upload it'll come to this page and then we're going to click on that to select our own file I've got mine categorized by uh, under a finals uh, folder and go find it there we go so we're just gonna click on that and then it's starting to upload part of it now once you've got that going you can go and fill in all the boxes like the um, the title any message you're gonna add to it add it to your playlist the description, put in your tags, add your thumbnail, and then once it's finishing processing, you could put in your uh, end screen. So those are all the key things you want to make sure that you uh, finish before uh, you post this and uh, publish it. But other than that, that is pretty much it. Okay, so that's how to make a YouTube fishing video using Adobe Premiere Elements. Hopefully you found it interesting, maybe a bit insightful. Uh, one key tip that I would give is to not overthink it. Um, you run the real big risk is people will 
watch YouTube videos and they'll love a certain style of video and then they decide, okay, I'm gonna do that as well, buy all the stuff, go out and do it, film it, whatnot, get home, and then the editing comes in. And it's not easy and it takes a while to, to learn. And then people try, try, they get frustrated, the end result isn't exactly how they had it in their mind compared to what they've seen on the, on the YouTube. So they get frustrated and then eventually they just give up on it and they never post anything. They keep going out and uh, taking videos, but they never actually create a video and upload it so anybody can look at it. You really have to be very careful about that. My suggestion is, is just do something very basic like I did. Just cut out the stuff you don't want to see, put it all together again, and then upload it and watch it, okay? And then the next video, do the same thing and maybe change something else and play with it. It's much easier to learn by doing a little bit at a time. Plus, it's a lot more rewarding is if you can actually post something and see it on YouTube and you can see the end result and you can see that progress as well because it's the biggest thing is that giving up part. And it's very similar to kayak fishing. Uh, people love the idea of going kayak fishing. They just see it and like, wow, that's amazing. I'm gonna do that. They buy the kayak, all the stuff for it. And then the first trip out, they find out how much of a hassle it is just getting the kayak to the water, getting on the water, learning how to just kayak and survive rather than catching monstrous fish and so forth. And top of that, filming it all, okay? So they don't have a very good experience. That kayak goes back home into a garage where it never sees water again until somebody else buys it and then they do it. So that's my fair warning on that. Biggest things, just get it, cut it, post it, and then just get better each time. So anyways, that's my video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And the next video, you'll see the final results. Bye.